So here we have a problem where we're looking for the arc length of a function on a given interval. So we're asked to calculate the arc length of the curve y equals x to the 3 halves power on the interval 1 to 4. Um, and so over here I've drawn a graph of what we're doing. We have the function y equals x to the 3 halves power and I've indicated the interval we're working with. So when we're looking for the arc length of a function on a given interval, what we're really doing is we're trying to see the distance along the curve uh, between those two x values. Um, so you can imagine if you had a string and you could take the string and run it along the curve um, from x equals 1 to x equals 4 and then straighten it out and measure it with whatever units of measurement you want to use. Um, that's what we're doing. Um, and so over here, I've written the formula for arc length. Um, so we need to have an interval, a to b. Um, we also need to have a function whose derivative is continuous. Um, that's a condition for using this. Uh, all the problems you'll see, that that condition will be met. Um, maybe I just want to remember that that's there. So uh, we have the in integral from a to b of the root of one plus the, the derivative of f of x squared dx. Uh, you might recognize this portion that's also on the surface area um, inter integrals. Um, so all we have to do for this problem is just plug in what we have in the correct places and then solve that in integral. So there's not much new here um, as far as integrating goes. We'll just be using the techniques we already know. Um, but what we are doing is we're applying um, a specific situation to the integrals that we already know how to calculate. Um, so we're looking for the arc length L from 1 to 4. And so we're given our bounds here in the question um, of the function square root of 1 plus. And now we need to know the derivative of this function before we move on. So our function is just x to the 3 halves power. So to find the derivative, we're just using the power rule and it's going to be 3 halves times x to the 1 half power. That's our derivative function. Um, and so we can go ahead and plug that in. 3 halves x to the 1 half power squared dx. So now we have our setup and all we have to do is integrate. So first I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to go ahead and square that. Um, and so we have that this is equal to integral from 1 to 4, the square root of 1 plus, um, and when we square 3 halves we get 9 fourths. And we have x to the 1 half being squared, so that's just x dx. And so here you will recognize that what we need to do next is use u substitution. Um, so we'll pick for our u um, 9 over 4x plus 1. So that makes our du just 9 over 4 dx. So that means um, we need to uh, divide by 9 fourths on both sides there. And we get that this is equal to 4 over 9, the integral. Now, this is really important um, since we're working with a definite integral with bounds. Um, and we've done u substitution, we need to change our bounds. Um, and that's something that can easily mess you up in a problem if you're not careful. Um, so to do that, we're just plugging in our bounds into our u substitution. Um, so we plug in 1 for x, and we get 9 fourths plus 1. So that's going to give us 13 over 4. And then we'll plug in 4 for x, and so that gives us 9 plus 1, so that's just 10. So our new bounds, since we've done a u substitution, are from 13 over 4 to 10. Um, and now, uh, since this is our u, we just have u to the 1 half du. So now we can integrate this and we get 4 ninths times um, plus 1 and then divided by that so that's 2 thirds 
u to the 3 halves power evaluated from 13 over 4 to 10. So then if we're going to write that out, we'd have 4 ninths times 2 thirds times 10 to the 3 halves power minus 13 over 4 to the 3 halves power. And I'm not going to bother to evaluate that because that's just kind of messy. Um, and you can stop right here. There's not really a need to simplify. Um, so this would be the arc length of our curve from 1 to 4. So the, the new thing with this problem is just being able to use this arc length formula and put everything in the correct places. So we need to know what the derivative of our curve is. Um, and we need to know what our bounds are so that we're able to place those all in the right place. I can't tell if it's recording or not. It is. Okay.